Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm comparing the DIY wind muff that my girlfriend made for my GoPro, which uh, my friend Patty dubbed the GoFro. So you can probably see why. So it's just a bit of cut up soundproofing foam with a garter sewn to the bottom versus this commercially available wind muff. Um, the original is called the Wind Slayer. This is just an imitation from a brand called Polos that I bought from Shopee.ph. Of course, you may wonder why we want to use a wind muff in the first place. Now, for normal vlogging, uh, a lot of people use the GoPro as their main vlogging camera. It's clear why you need it because, you know, every now and then there's wind and wind just makes the audio completely unusable. But in my case, I'm actually using it for moto vlogging and you pretty much never see moto vloggers use a wind muff because anyway, they have their um, lavalier mics hooked up directly to the GoPro, which is hooked up to the inside of the helmet. So the reason I actually want to use a wind muff is because the way I want to set up my moto vlogs, which I haven't actually done, is to have my lavalier mic inside my helmet record to a separate recorder recording just the sound of my voice. And I want to use the GoPro to record the engine and environment sound so I can basically do some nice sound design to create some a more immersive environment. And so when I'm not talking, you can enjoy the sound of the revs, the sound of the wind. You can really have a more immersive environment, immersive audio design for your video. So that's why I want to do it. And one thing you have to know is that the GoPro, when it does a digital wind cut, it switches from stereo mics, it has a three mic array, and it becomes mono. So based on my previous tests, which I'll um, let you listen to without using the wind muff, the audio of the environment, the sound of the revs, just becomes very muted, very muffled when there's a lot of wind. Whereas if you use one of these, it's really very different, it's much more immersive you really hear the sound of the engine, the sound of the engines of the motorcycles around you, the sound of the environment, the sound of the road. And that just gives me, I think, a very nice element to layer either underneath when I'm talking and recording my audio on the mic separately, or to have a silent part where you can just enjoy basically being virtually on the road with me, hearing the revs, the sounds, and really the sound texture of the entire experience. So, all right. Let's compare now the sound of the GoPro with no wind muff, with the GoFro, and with the Windslayer style wind muff. So this is the GoPro, GoPro, the, the test with no wind and no wind muff. So this is how it sounds. Yeah, and now let's turn on this strong fan. This is the GoPro with the wind behind. Can you hear me? Can you hear anything? Now we have the GoPro with the GoFro, the DIY wind muff. So I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Um, so this is how it sounds. This is how it sounds with no wind. This is how it sounds with wind. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, what's up? Hey, testing, testing. What is up guys? Hey, test, test, test. What's up guys? Test, test. Wind behind me, hey, what's up guys? Test? Hey, test, test. What's up, can you hear me? Can you hear me at all? What is up? Check, check, one, two, check. Hey, what's up? Check, check, check. All right, we are now testing the Wind Slayer style, commercially available foam muff. Again, this is um, from a brand called Polos. I just ordered this from Shopee.ph for just under 200 pesos, like three dollars, something like that. All right, testing, testing. Hey, test, test, test. What is up, guys? Test, test, can you hear me? Hey, hey, hey. can you hear me? Test, test. One, two, check, one, check, one, two, check, check. And now with the wind behind me, check, check. How does that sound? Can you hear me at all? Check, check. One, two, mic check, test, one, two, check, check, check. All right, so after that admittedly unscientific test, surprise, surprise, it appears that the GoFro DIY wind muff does a better job than the Winslayer style commercially available wind muff. Uh, for me, you can hear noticeably there's less bass, less low end rumble when using this as compared to this. Now as to why that is, I'm not sure. Maybe it's because 
the GoPro holds on tighter to the microphones because of the garter. Maybe it's because of the foam we use, which is again like a cheap soundproofing material I got off Lazada. But anyway, now I'm going to let you hear this in action against wind as I ride my scooter at about up to 80 kilometers per hour. And I think you'll hear the difference. All right, I am testing my GoPro against this wind on the highway. How does it sound? Check, one, two, check. Testing my GoPro. it for this video guys so let me know in the comments if you want us to do a full instructional video on how to make one of these it's really pretty simple it's just some foam and some garters but anyway let me know if you want to see exactly how we made it or how my girlfriend made it okay so thank you guys always for watching don't forget to hit like if this video was helpful consider subscribing and i will catch you guys next time